A Conservative peer is calling for a change in the law which allows unborn babies with known disabilities to be aborted even when they're at full term. Lord Shinkwin, who suffers from brittle bone disease, made his case in a powerful speech. So by rights, my ward, I shouldn't be here. I should be dead. Indeed, more than that, according to the eugenic screening programme of our Department of Health, I would be better off dead because of serious handicap. Well, we can talk to Lord Shinkwink now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Claire, and thank you for having me on the show. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Now, tell us about your condition and why... I mean, it was very powerful what you said. The search and destroy approach we have to screening would have made me a prime candidate for abortion. Why did you say that? I said it because I think it's a fundamental value of our society. Um, and indeed, we saw this in Five Lives' excellent coverage of the Paralympics, that we are all equal and that equality matters. Uh, and I think you know, I may be a, a member of the House of Lords. I, I've come in, I've only been there just under a year. But I'm not important. My job is important, but the person cleaning the street outside my office is my equal under the law. Only if you're disabled before birth, you're not equal at all. Tell us about the law as it stands now. What are the grounds on which uh, a woman can have a late abortion, given on what comes up on the screen? The first point I want to make, is, because I, I think it's really important, is that the change I'm proposing is actually really modest in its practical effect. It's significant in the effect it has with regards to the principle of equality. But in terms of um, the um, ab abortion law, um, a woman um, can, um, is allowed by law to have an abortion uh, up to 24 weeks if uh, there is no disability. Um, but if there's a disability, as I said in the House of Lords yesterday, um, a uh, unborn baby, an unborn baby, can be aborted right up to birth. Now, um, I think most people, uh, if they watch the Paralympics, if they saw the amazing achievements that our um, Paralympians won medals for, would think, hang on a minute, they qualified because of their disability and their sporting prowess to represent their country in Rio, and yet, had they not been disabled, they wouldn't have qualified for the Paralympics, but because they're disabled, they'd be qualifying for abortion right up to birth. How does that add up to equality? Are there any conditions attached, as the law stands at the moment, to late abortions based on disability? Is it down to the severity of the disability or, or what, what is the range? Well, I mean, last year, for example, um, 11 unborn babies with cleft palate or hair lip were aborted on, on, on those grounds. Um, and I, I think most people would scratch their heads and think, well, how does that add up to a severe handicap? So you're saying this is disability discrimination, it's enshrined in law at the moment, and we need to reverse that.